For more on this, uh, let's bring in the lead scientist and manager at Cal Berkeley's Central Sierra Snow Lab, uh, Dr. Andrew Swartz. And we know that you are uh, a, a true scientist because I'm told the power uh, just got knocked out uh, to your facility. You didn't cancel on us. You went outside to show us what's going on. So we appreciate that very much. Andrew, great to have you back with us. Can you explain, one, of what was going on with the dry January, and now clearly you've got some high impact weather moving through? Yeah, absolutely. So we, on occasion out here, get this persistent blocking high pressure system that sits in the eastern Pacific in late January. So we're not necessarily a stranger to that. Uh, and that's what we saw this year. However, that did keep us drive for three weeks. We started the year great. We had 108% of our snowpack at the beginning of January and only 66% at the February 1st numbers. But as you can see, we've got some, some good precipitation falling and those numbers are already starting to bump up. So that's a really good thing. Yeah, yeah, that's big time. I and mean, we were looking at these numbers, as you said, in November and December, we're saying, hey, we could go back to back to back with some really good snow winters out west. And then, and then January happens. But you had just alluded to it. It's not some even distribution that happens through the whole season. You guys get big events. And now we have this, more snow to come in what's left of this week. Uh, this seems like it could get you at least back closer to average, at least in parts of the range. Absolutely. We've had six and a half inches of rain here at the lab roughly over the last several days. We've now had about 20 inches of snowfall in the last 12 hours or so, and we are expecting about another one to two feet more. So at this point, we're really looking at potentially getting up to average, if not even above average again. And what you said is right. You know, these it all comes down to these atmospheric rivers. Oftentimes you'll hear people say that a bit, that a winter will hinge on two or three storms and these atmospheric rivers are exactly why. Yeah, we're showing the numbers and it's thin, less than half average season to date across the southern part of the Sierra. How big of a deal is the storm moving through uh, the latter part of the week as that gets a little bit farther off to the south and bring some of that snow to the parts of the, of the range that really need it the most? Well, and that's exactly it. We've been really, really heavy in our precipitation in the northern and central parts of the state compared to the south. Uh, the southern areas in the Sierra Nevada haven't had a ton of snowfall at all. So having this storm later this week that will distribute that a little bit more evenly will go a long way, not just towards bumping up our water numbers, but also in helping with our fire danger come summer. And with those water numbers, before we let you go, I just wanted to ask you quickly, uh, if, you, if you just go average through the rest of the season, what kind of shape is the state in uh, through the second half of the spring and into the summer? You know, if we end up having a, a kind of an average season for the rest of the season, oh, snowflake, uh, then realistically speaking, we're in good shape. You know, we're, we're very close to being average now at the snow lab with our, our overall precipitation. We're, I think, at 92% of average or something to that effect. If we keep average through the rest of the season, we'll be in a good spot. Excellent. Well, you are a, a trooper for all the reasons that we mentioned and more. Uh, going through a pretty good storm out there right now. Uh, the lead scientist and the manager at, at Cal Berkeley Central Sierra Snow Lab, Dr. Andrew Swartz. It's always great to catch up with you. Uh, thanks for talking with us this afternoon. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you.